Booya. Take your time, motherfuckers. Welcome to episode, what is this, 34? Review the Interrupted. Me and your host, Pootie Tang, for the chef. This episode is uh, brought, brought to you again. I think I'm going to make this a, uh, a usual. This is going to be my little thing. Gummy Unicorn is back. Gummy Unicorn. Can you see what these, see? They're like, they look like that. They're like gummy and they're unicorn there you know there's a bunch of gummies in here it's not plural it's just gummy unicorn so though the they are many they are one i'm pretty sure gummy unicorn is legion all right so this episode sorry i'm gonna be chewing a little bit my bad this episode is going to be an hour and a half Chinese zombie kung fu flick called We're Going to Eat You. Whoa, there it is. We're Going to Eat You. I skipped this one. I, I was explaining it in the last video. I skipped it. Oh, my hair looks pretty pretty neat on the sides there, huh, guys? <laughs> but, um, because it came in this little set. Kung fu zombies. Look at that. There's Gordon Liu right there. That's right. He's in a couple of couple flicks on here. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, oh, my ear is just, bear with me, folks, okay? This is, this is all in the moment. So, I mean, if I get itchy ear and I got to do ear shit, you're going to, it's happening. Um, but yeah, like, I picked this up. I believe this was at, like, fucking, uh, a Winco, which is, like, this big-ass fucking grocery store. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's in between maybe what a Costco and a regular grocery store would be like or something, you know? But the, it's bigger and they get stuff in bulk, so the prices are cheaper and everything. But it, it's, it's like discounted, kind of. But um, I do believe I picked this up there. And um, I skipped watching We're Going to Eat You, I believe. Because if you look... Okay. Lovely little two disc flip dealio on the inside there. Whoa! If you can see, there is Spirited Killer 2 and 3, no Spirited Killer 1. I explained it in the last video that, uh, um, what's his fuck? Uh, Tony Jaw was in the first one, so it was probably like some kind of licensing thing because, you know, if, if, if he didn't make it big, then it would probably have been no problem. But like Gordon, I don't, I don't know why the Gordon Liu ones, maybe. The, um, it was through a, a distribution company or the rights were owned by somebody that was like willing to just be like, yeah, fuck it or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. But anyway, I skipped that disc, I believe, because uh, I was like, well, why would I start off with two and then watch three, but like have no idea and not know when I'm going to see part one. So I skipped that and we're going to eat you is on there and it is a... Kung Fu Zombie Horror Comedy. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing it because, I don't know, there's been some good movies on this set. Shaolin vs. Evil Dead and Shaolin vs. Evil Dead 2, like... My woman watched the first one and she wasn't really into it because I mean, she loves Gordon Liu, she loves zombie movies, she loves Kung Fu movies. I really lucked out, you know? But... It's a little bit like a almost like a kid's movie. It's kind of like got that kind of humor or something like that. And she was just kind of like expecting something different. She's like, eh, this is kind of like hokey. So she didn't get into it. I didn't think it was too bad. So she skipped like Shaolin versus Evil Dead 2, which it kind of follows the same lines, but then it gets like really, really crazy with like the whole um, good, mer good magic versus bad magic kind of bullshit between like these different motherfuckers that are like he tells a whole backstory and I don't know it got pretty like intense almost like um, what was that manga? manga-esque in a way but um yeah I, in the 
in the thing, I'll, I'll explain later, man. If I tell you everything now, what the fuck am I going to have to talk about later? That being said, uh, in the, the details, the info details of the video, I put the link for, sorry. I don't know why, I love these gummy unicorn. They're fucking good. But, um, I put the, the Amazon link for this set if you'd like to pick up this set, even though, like I said, it's kind of a bummer that Spirit of Killer 2 and 3, no, no uh, part one, but if you still want to see like the other movies, they're, they're actually like pretty tight. They're not too bad. Um, and also, the, I, I, I didn't do a lot of digging. I just went to Amazon. I just go to Amazon. I'm not gonna like dig through the internet to find you the perfect link to find something. I'll go like kind of hokey. Furthest I'll go is like, you know, um, maybe Arrow, their site, Vinegar Syndrome, Blue Underground, if I, Shit like that, and the the main distributors where it might not be on Amazon or it might not be a, available through Amazon at the moment, but you can get it through their bullshit. And there's I couldn't find a Blu-ray edition of uh, We're Going to Eat You, but there is an import DVD. I warn you, the price was like thirty nine ninety nine for the fucking DVD, import DVD or something. If you want just that movie and you want like just a copy of that movie, which down the road I'm going to want to, and I'm pretty sure by then the price will have dropped, fingers crossed. But like, um, if, if you don't want the set and you just want that and you are a collector and hey man, you, you got the cash to do it, I have that link down there too. But um, yeah, like I said, I, I don't think I watched this movie at all. I don't remember it. If I did, so. I'm gonna go watch it and then I'll come back and I'll yap about it and some of the cool shit that's in it. Cause I know there's gonna be some shit that I'm gonna be like fucking right on. Cause I don't know, I usually do 99.9% .9 of the time, except when I watched half of Twilight and then I tuned out for the rest of all that shit. And um, Bird Box, which was utter and total wet garbage. It wasn't even the wet garbage. It was that wet garbage water that's in the bottom. It's like all gray and it's, it's like you just smell it and you're like, oh, you just know that there is like eight different fucking diseases, two of which are like unknown to human at the moment STDs in that nasty garbage water. That's why I think of Bird Box. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go watch this and then I'll come back and I'll talk about it and something a little different. A Chinese Kung Fu zombie horror comedy. So, all right. Um, in the pit, fuckers. Um, yeah. In the meantime, we're going to eat you. We are. All of you. We're going to eat your butt. Holy fuck balls, dude. We're going to eat you is fucking badass. Like, it starts off like this one dude's taking a piss, and the other guy's like talking smack, and it's like this little shit where it's like it's definitely a comedy. But let me let me just like before I really start to describe the movie, let let me explain something. This is in a kung fu zombie set there are no zombies in this movie there, not one not not even for a second like oh okay maybe that's why they had it there are zero motherfucking zombies in this entire goddamn movie cannibals yes zombies no so this is actually not a kung fu zombie horror comedy this is this that's not what this is. This is a kung fu cannibal horror comedy from China. And it is fucking badass. So, okay, there's like the two little like doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, the duo and everything. One guy gets fucking attacked and he is just like they get him. The other guy they take back to their place and he's thinking like, oh, maybe they think I'm somebody else or whatever. Nah. They take this motherfucker, they like. 
I, if I remember correctly, they like cut off one of his hands or some shit, or like his arm, part of his arm, and they take this saw down and they just fucking rah, 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 saw him in half, and it shows like the guy laying on the table, but you, there's like a, somebody standing there where it would be like the middle, and they just pull the legs and pull them apart. It's like there's these scenes in it that is just like, oh wow, but it doesn't get bloody. It's like there's like very minimal blood. Not really a lot of gore. I'd say the closest it came to like real, real gore. I mean, it did like cut off some limbs and everything like that. There was some good like effects, but it, it didn't get like gory, gory, you know. And then, but there was one scene where this dude was cutting a tattoo off another off this dead guy's chest, and they must have used like a pig or something like that because they were really cutting into something, and it was like a real dead something. And so I'm, I'm pretty sure it was probably just like a a pig or something like that, something that looked fairly human with skin tone or some shit like that, I don't know. But like, that was pretty, it was like graphic, but it didn't get really bloody and like very minimal gore. There was like some heart scenes, like a, well, one specific heart scene, which, uh, but not over the top. And the, the, even the, com the comedy in it is like, you know, like uh, those kung fu, like action comedies that they came out with like back in the day, you know, it's like, I got a set that's sitting over somewhere. It's flying fists of kung fu and there's some movies like that you know where they have like the humor it's like that kind of humor and it's like if you watch old kung fu movies you know exactly what i'm talking about you're like ah oh, yeah okay cool but like yeah so i mean it's just like this island in the middle of like i don't know a lake or part of the o off the coast or something and they like never have meat so they just like when people wander in they just hack them up and eat them up and they divvy it out between like all these people that live in this town and it's fucking nuts dude some people are like oh we finally got meat we finally got meat oh we got a little portion of meat they turn into they're, the whole town is cannibals and like the uh i don't know i guess you'd call them like the death squad some shit like that like they all wear like these really weird fucking looking masks it's like kind of cool because they're like simplistic and very minimalistic, like, kind of like the mask in, um, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, but even more minimalistic, just like kind of basic and the eye holes are a little weird, one plain color. It looks very, very, very tribal, very old school, the way they did the masks, you know, it, it's like maybe modern in 1980, because it came out in 1980, it might be kind of modern looking for that, but in essence also you know very very um specifically like uh chinese traditional you know it's like all these different cultures have like their different look that you know of their their shit over through the aeons of time and space <gasps> ah! but you know from through history you know they like some might be similar, but it, it's a very like, oh, you know, you see that mask, it's from like this tribe on this continent in this country or whatever the fuck. So it's like, I, I do think they kind of went that way, but the action's pretty cool. The Kung Fu action's pretty cool. It's not like that super fast, like, whoa, kind of like um, Kung Fu. It's like, you could tell it, it it's kind of like, like this kind of kung fu and it's like a, like if you watch kung fu movies you know what exactly what I'm talking about like you know how when you get an actor trying to do a part but it's like it, it's not it, it just it looks overly rehearsed like they're maybe not that great of an actor like they can act but it's not like they're going to be winning oscars and stuff they're it's like they're they're decent but not like super good that's kind of how the Kung Fu was. It was, you could see the choreography. It's when you can't see the choreography that it looks smooth and it's like that really fucking like, whoa, this is on point fucking martial arts, you know? Where this is that real like choreographed, ka, 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 shrill, do, ka, ka. You know, that kind of choreograph where it's almost like, like uh, martial arts pop and lock, that kind of look. But it's still fucking solid, man. I mean, it's it's not like super slow pace. It's like fast. Ba 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 ba. But you know what I mean. Mac knows what I mean. Ask ask Mac. He knows. But it's like, but um, you can let Mac know that there is some of the 
but there is not because, you know, until I do Ong Bak, any one of the movies in the trilogy, there was none of this. So you could tell Mac that there was none of this. Okay? None of that. None of that. Zero. But, um, yeah, very, very solid movie. Very, it was a lot of fun. The ending was just like fucking, it was, it was pretty gonzo. The big old fights, there were some pretty good fucking fight scenes, you know? And I don't know, it, it comes across as almost like you, you would think like it's just like any other fucking movie, but the, there's something different about this one. The, the way it, it blends because it's, it, it adds elements that maybe you wouldn't expect totally from a martial arts movie coming out at that time, you know? Because I've watched a shit ton of different, like, fucking old martial arts kung fu fucking movies and everything, but, like, there's some shit in this, like, and I'm not even just saying the cannibalism itself, which is, like, you know, it, it wasn't, like, a big fucking thing in kung fu movies, but just, like, the carving off of the tattoo and, like, just cutting like there was a couple scenes where it was like they were cutting through flesh or something in someone's stomach wall you know just certain stuff that actually got like pretty pretty fucking brutal you know and i was like nice and it was very different very special and it it's actually a very well produced well written acted and directed movie dude like at first you wouldn't think so but then there's little parts where it just how it flows so seamlessly it's like, I guess because, you know, I'm a Westerner, it kind of has that Western feel to me with the flow of it, you know? It has that, it has that very Kung Fu flow where it's like, you know, the guy's looking for this criminal, so he comes into the town and, you know, he's got to figure things out and he gets a little bits of skirmish, like Kung Fu skirmishes with the locals that are dickheads and, you know, just like typical Kung Fu movie elements and some, and of course it's Eastern, so there's going to be very... Uh, the way things are um, viewed are going to be very Eastern in ways, but it had a very Western type pace and a Western feel and even like some of the comedy, how it fit together. It, it was like, it was like watching an old buddy cop movie at points, you know, just like the, the, the banter. Very good. And uh, yeah. So, I mean, if you want to drop like, what is it? 40 bucks on a, on a, I'm an American. I'm in the Americans of the United States, so it's an import for me. I, if anybody outside, if anybody in Region B is watching this, it's your shit, not mine. That's what I'm saying. If you want to drop like forty bucks on the DVD, you can get. We're going to eat you. I think it's a German import, and you can get a little copy of it on DVD. Which down the road. You know, it would, I think it would be kind of cool just to see if there's like some special features. I didn't check it out, the, didn't really check it out. It'd be something that I would check out when I was like, you know what? I kind of got a little bit of extra cash, like a decent amount of extra cash because 40 bucks for one DVD. I used to be able to do that, but now it's like I have to budget and be adult. I can't be reckless and it, I can't. And I've been very, very good but I know that it's just a matter of time before my strong will is broken by something like the fucking import DVD of We're Going to Eat You. Yes! But like, I'm, by the time I get around to be like, oh yeah, that, I should get that. It, the price will probably be, have dropped or they might even come out like, um, what is that? Um, 88 Films? They're, they're releasing like a lot of just like, like shit I've never even heard of that's like, Asian market fucking shit and like old school shit. So this one could pop up on something like movies are popping up on Blu-ray all the time. And when they do, it's generally a very nice edition that's like cheaper than the fucking import DVD that you were going to buy. You know what I'm saying? Like half the price even or some shit. So down the road, that'd be cool. But I, I put the link for that if you want to pick it up, but also the link for this because there actually is some good movies in it. I think Shaolin vs. Evil Dead and Shaolin vs. Evil Dead 2 are solid and it needs a third one. I don't, I, I should do some real digging because if there is a third one, I need that shit because it get it like you watch the first one and it's like, you know, it's, 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 it, 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 it tells the story in a way that it's like you feel like, okay, this is how the storyline is going to progress. 
And then you get to the second one, and there's, like, evil... There's, like, bad dudes that have, like, powers, and they're, like, trying to get stones and do shit and raise some kind of bullshit. And there's, like, a bunch of magic. A lot of magic. There's, like, these battles where they... I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, like... Very, like... Um, uh, anime almost like but it's like a little older but still it's like it has an anime feel to it like this could t it totally came out of a manga or something but if there's a there should there needs to be a third one because it kind of like it leaves on a cliffhanger and I kind of want to know what happens next but yeah this this set if you want to pick this up it's cheap as hell and it's fun it's a fun little set but like yeah we're going to eat you is like oh one of the the main bad dude in the movie was also like, uh, what was it, Lethal Weapon 3 or 4? It was the one where Murtaugh, like there's like the Asians that they were smuggling motherfuckers in on the boat and Murtaugh finds the family, takes them home, tries to keep them safe from the fucking triad or whatever the fuck's going on. You know, and Chris Rock's in that one and blah, blah, blah. <coughs> well, the Chinese dad, the, the one who was the dad of the family and everything, is the main bad guy in this movie. And I, it's just kind of like, dude, that's fucking awesome. It's one of those little things that movie geeks like me just go like, oh, oh no shit, what? And then the, he was a, that awesome. And you know what I mean if you're a movie geek. You know exactly what I mean. Okay, really quick. I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be doing next episode. I'm actually very excited to, to do this one because this is absolutely one of my favorite things by this director. It's fucking amazing. You watch it and you're just like, this is, it's so fucking great. And I'm going to introduce my woman to it. And I think she's going to like, she's not a huge fan of Takashi Miike like I am. He gets a little bit like, you know, especially in these Yakuza movies, it's like the Yakuza is very rapey. And that's, it's like me, I just kind of gloss over. I'm like, whatever, get to the meat and bones of the shit. And I just kind of like, ah, because I've watched enough movies where it was like, like I spit on your grave and shit like that. It's like, <sighs> I, 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 I'm not there to see the rape. I'm there to see the revenge, you know? The revenge is when it gets good. So it's just kind of like, okay, yeah, just get through it, you know? And I, I just pass it off and then get to the shit. But, you know, it, she, she's just not a fan of it because it's very, like, I don't know, it, get, it, gets, it gets to be a little much at times where it's just like, all right, here they go. You guys just raping somebody again. Fuck, that's, uh, that's kind of the thing, I guess. You know, they're just like, hey, man, let's go, like, do bad things with drugs and guns and kill and... You know, maybe throw a raping or two in there. What do you think? That <laughs> fucking sounds good. Okay, put on your shades. Let's go. You know, that kind of shit. But uh, I think she's going to like this one because this one's very different. By my favorite director, Takashi Miike, Demon Pond. Oh, what? What? Yeah. Demon Pond, his stage play. This is so fucking good. <laughs> it's just... It is so good. Like, I think I've watched it twice and just both times I'm just like, I'm like, dude, this guy can do anything. You tell him to direct something and he'll do it. It doesn't matter what style it is. He's, he can do any fucking style. This like solidifies. Takashi Miike is more than just like a fast paced action, Yakuza, bloody, violent, um, gonzo at times, grindhousey at times. At, on, on a horror dude it, he's more than just like Ichi the Killer and Audition and Imprint he's more than those movies and this movie right here Demon Pond like pff, puts that out there like this guy can do anything you know I mean he, Zebra Man and Zebra Man 2 he does fucking superhero movies like kind of superhero comedy movies and shit the Great Yokai War, he does a fucking kids movie, like about like the monsters and stuff. I mean, he, he could do fucking anything. Demon Pond. I'm excited for this one. This one's gonna be good. Right. Yeah, back to this, because I guess, you know, I'm we're doing a little Asia thing, and I'm cool with that because it's like, you know, <clears throat> I didn't really start getting into the Asian horror like too much at first. I mean, I thought the grudge was cool and the ring was pretty cool, but those were the Americanizing. And I was like, oh shit, there's like Japanese ones. And at the time, like the Japanese market was like almost everywhere you looked, the only thing that 
like at least I was getting shown was like, oh, ghosts that look like the motherfucker from The Grudge or the little girl from The Ring. And I'm like, so is that like all Asian horror? Is that what fucking J Japanese horror is? Just these ghosts that all fucking look alike? Then I found Takashi Miike. <laughs> and then I got into to more and more Takashi Miike, who in turn, like turn me on to like other horror and like Japanese and just Asian horror, Chinese, Thai and everything else. And booyah, you know, like I, I saw that there was more to that shit. And we're going to eat you it is a very special fucking, very, very special fucking like Chinese horror. Dude, it's, I, I still, I'm like, after I watched it, I'm like, dude, that movie was fucking crazy. It was just all the elements together just blew me away. I was like, this movie is like way better than it should be. Way better than it should be. You know, you, you, you should walk into it and be like, oh yeah, it was good, but you know. But no, this one is just like, did I really just see a movie that was like that? Did I really just see what I just fucking saw? We're going to eat you, man. We're going to eat you. We're gonna eat you. Not to be confused with the movie I Eat Your Skin, the 1960s zombie, black and white zombie movie. It's not that, not to be confused with that one. No, it's We're Going to Eat You. And they did eat some motherfuckers too. And there was like a really, I, I, I gotta like research that. Maybe that, see that's why down the road, by that time it, I'll be like, whatever. And like there was like a huge motherfucker in there was there was a woman and I want to know if it was like actually a woman with gigantism or just like a dude with gigantism dressed in drag you know because it was just like too much because that character was fucking epically like just creepy psychotic it was fucking weird but yeah I really dug this movie and I I think like I don't know like you you could see if it's playing on um to be Netflix is definitely not going to have it. Ha ha ha. Go figure. Hulu, Disney Plus, none of those are going to have this shit. Forget about it. Um, maybe um, maybe the El Rey, if you have that El Rey app, El Rey might actually be like a chan like a little channel app dealio that has we're going to eat you, but uh, you could check Tubi or something. But really, you know, if you don't want to shell out the cash, which I don't blame you, like just pick but picking up this cheap set I, I i highly recommend watching it it might even be on youtube i don't know like um but yeah so <sighs> i think um shit i have substantially signed your pity on the running kind i mean now you got to do is just cut the crust saw put it in a little sandwich baggie Put it in your little brown baggie next to your apple and your little box of juice. Because you get at school today, motherfuckers. Yeah, and your homework is D's. D's nuts, you little... Mm. But yeah. I, I don't know what that was. I, I, I apologize. Sometimes I, I think I have little misfires in my brain. It's because... Um, uh, I was conceived with, um, very old eggs. My mom was very old when she had me and that's, I think I have slow brain decay where it's like, um, what happens is my body doesn't age fast, but because my mom's egg was really old that my brain like decays at a faster rate. It's probably like dark gray matter right now that's, that's probably what's going on like and then like i don't know i give it like a good i don't know 27 years before i can't remember my name and i'm shitting myself all the time i i, I 27 years so we will meet back here let's see at i'm not wearing a watch so i don't know what time it is april 22nd 27, like 27 years from now, we will meet back here and we will see, like, if I'm shit myself. But, uh, yeah, until next time, this has been Reviewedly Interrupted with me, your host. 
I forgot my name, but I didn't shit myself. See you next episode. Okay, Kung Fu Zombies, we're gonna eat you. They're gonna, they're gonna eat you because they're not, they're not zombies, so they're camels. They eat you. Are you?